What's up everyone? Thank you so much for all the support you've given us on our We Don't Talk About Bruno music video. We've seen some people reacting on their own YouTubes and so we thought it'd be fun to get us together and watch the video, react to it, give you guys some stories about the day, some little behind the scenes knowledge and so we hope you guys enjoy this video. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. Love every single face in that show. Also, before your confetti. Well, I was gonna say, in that first scene, I'm literally just wearing Jaren's clothes from the day before. It's like not a special outfit at all. It's what <laughs> he wore to the like dress rehearsal. Yeah. And uh, my green outfit was like way too green, so I just like wore Jaren's clothes. Should from the we? Day before. We should talk about wardrobe for a minute. What wardrobe? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so, cool. As you guys can see, uh, so many different colors, so many different outfits. We owe a huge amount of props to Christian Affleck and Cardin. Yeah. Um, they are amazing. They helped pick out the clothes for us, fit it to us, for all the kids too and, and everything. And so uh, it worked out really, really well. And I think every yeah. single color matched like everybody's personality pretty well. Yeah, and too. the scene, and there was like enough diversity where like we didn't all match perfectly, which was really fun. Yeah. Like different shades of the same colors. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Sure. And they did not have very much time to get those clothes. I think they got them mm -hmm. like over the weekend. Right? Yeah. And yeah. they had like two days to get we all the clothes. We, the dress rehearsal was like Monday, right? And, and then, then we, we shot, shot Tuesday. Tuesday. So. Yeah. And so the dress rehearsal, like some of us still didn't have like clothes. And so yeah. they had to go out to the store and like get them. Yeah. Off the next day. It was, it was, quick. was awesome. Um, was my okay. wedding day. Was our wedding oh, we were getting ready, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. No clouds allowed in the sky. Bruno walks in with a mischief, a grin. You tell him a story, or am I? I'm sorry, maybe that go on. Talking about this video, the confetti scene. This was so cool. So when we showed up for the video shoot, we didn't really exactly know what it was going to look like. Um, the director talked to us about this scene and said that he had some like wedding like confetti cannon things yeah. and it was like such a cool part of this scene in particular oh yeah um so johnny and i we were the ones to we like volunteered to do the confetti cannon and we were both really scared because we only had three takes we had six cannons so we only had three takes to do it and like get it in those three takes and the first one was ruined because like both of us were so tense when we were <laughs> twisting the thing. Because we knew they were going to be loud, but we didn't know how loud they were going to be. So if you, we actually have some behind the scenes footage that we could share some pictures, where both of us are just like scrunching up our faces, like <laughs> doing that. And on this take, actually, I am scrunching up my face, but I think I'm behind Adas's head. So well, I you, can't really you guys talk. think that was bad for you? You had three takes. We, <laughs> we're we dancing in front of you. And he can't mess up. Well, so that's the thing is, so I learned the dance about a week before and but I met Adas at the day before we shot filming and so Adas learned the dance in about five minutes because she was meeting everybody so and fast. so she met me super quick I showed her the dance really fast and then but she's like such a quick learner the next day she just like had it down and we just practiced like three more times before we shot it but we weren't we didn't know we were doing confetti yeah. and so we had it all down but then we had to like be farther away from camera and so it was all messy but I thought I had it done, and all of a sudden you hear this big like, <laughs> boom! Yeah. And all of a sudden like things are like falling in front of your face, and so we were just had, trying not to flinch. And, I, and we like, had three tries, mm -hmm. and so uh, this is probably the most complicated scene for the amount of time it is. Like, yeah, it's, and it's so it's short. Really short, but like they had their choreo was the hardest probably. Of but this whole thing. Well, I yeah. mean, look, she looks so natural. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, you kill it. You actually did a really great job. You guys I was surprised. I'm sure you guys can notice. Alex is Bruno in this video. So you like see Easter eggs of him just like. Being Bruno. Bruno. Yeah, Brie and Bruno. It's, Popping in and out. Popping in and out. Alright, yeah. should we keep going? Anybody yes. else? Yeah. Let's go for it. I'm sorry, maybe that go Alright, the umbrella so dance, baby. So this umbrella dance was also a little complicated when we did the dress rehearsal, rehearsal. So we had a full dress rehearsal the day before. It went all day long when we learned our choreo and exactly how things were going to work out. We had these longer umbrellas, but we like broke all of them yeah, during this dance. All, they were yeah. like all messed up. I don't even think they were ours. No. I think they're the Young Ambassadors umbrellas. <laughs> yes. and we just, Sorry, Young Ambassadors. Sorry about, that. Sorry about that. So now we have like these little umbrellas, which don't look as cool, but they still look really cool. Yeah. In fact, they might look cooler because they're like different shades of blue. Yeah. 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 It was kind of scary because you and I had to switch what direction we were like doing the choreography we because initially we were all going to do it like in sync, but we had it like split oh, on yeah. sides. It mirrored. Yeah. So we had to adjust really quickly and it, this was near the beginning of the film day and this is the first like big music video any of us have done except for Alex. So the three of us like we're yeah. new to this. And so I think we were probably nervous about that as well. We just like really didn't want to be the one guy that messes up and you just yeah. so. But it, it worked good. well. I think it worked well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Alright. I'm 
So this this part is like kind of like iconic because it's like her main part in Winter Tiger Bruno and she's in her main like outfit as the character and stuff like that. So I remember when she like walked in the set, like everybody like sort of just like paused. Yeah. Everybody clapped. And just like looked and like it was like we all like clapped. You know, you don't usually clap when just like somebody walks into the room, especially because we've like seen her already. We've all met her, but we all like clapped. It was so cool. It was, it was like, so oh gosh, cool. She like really like embodies the character, like everything about her. She's so nice, yeah. great performer, and just like, she works perfectly. Mm -hmm. So and this is actually the outfit that Disney got her as a thank you for making the movie. Yeah, like Disney made that outfit. It is like a, is a true one and only outfit. It's, the it's like the only, outfit. it's the only one of that. Kind so of great. It's cool. Oh, I need to share that. <laughs> we didn't have that in it. We didn't. Okay. No, we did not. It was just supposed to be uh, Nathan and Zach just going, ha, ah, and she stopped in the middle of recording and said, where is that? Like the I think it was her husband's. Oh yeah, her husband just like, where is that? And yeah. she, I think she wanted to be nice and didn't want to bring it up, but it's like so iconic to her character and we just like never put in the arrangement. Yeah. Um, it was a great choice though, but because yeah. it really- it They said, let's do it. And so we're like, all right, we'll just like record that later. And so we just like filmed it without it like actually playing for us, and it worked. I mean, it was a fantastic choice on their part. So it looks cool. Works out cool. Do you understand? Seven foot. This is possibly the coolest dance. I mean, all I guess all these sections are really cool. I just really love this dance. And it took you guys a lot of tries to get it right, but you guys did it. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of sad I wasn't in this one. It worked out. I was already in also, Carson one. just looks like amazing in this part. He like yeah. he's doing the dance, but he has his like own little like vibe to it. Yeah. Also, One Voice Children's Choir. We know we've said it before, but they are seriously so good and so, so professional. And their choreography was so fun. Like, I hope that you can see them in the background when they're doing like their little thing when they walk in, because their choreography in this and all the other parts is yeah. just really cool. Can't go unnoticed. When the, chore when the choreography messed up, it was usually us. I can't think of a single time where we had to stop it. I know. Because of <laughs> one voice. It's true. When he calls your name, it all fades to black. Okay, this, like, was a lot more complicated than you'd think it was, you know? It all was. fades to black, you'd think you could just, like, flip a light switch and just all goes to black. No, we're in a warehouse. A warehouse, and they made just, like, a little section for this music video of the warehouse. And there are windows all around it. So it was hard to like block off all the windows. We tried to block off as many as we can, but there's still a lot of light coming through. So, and also we need light to film. So what we did is it was all fades and somebody like had like a big like mattress or something. And like, like it, was blocked. Or it was like yeah. something big and they had to like block the light like at the perfect time. And so that's like, there were no shutting off of lights at that part. It was just somebody blocking something else, like a huge light. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. your dreams and feasts on your screens We don't talk about Bru no 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 we don't talk about This was tricky for well okay first thing I'm gonna say about this the people on the second row are kneeling and their knees oh. are about to explode. Yeah. I like felt their their pain on like that hard concrete yeah. floor. <laughs> Second thing, we had to shine the lights in our face, which ended up looking really cool, but I think all of our eyes Burned. were like kind of burning a little bit, but that was just to get the effect. So when we were doing a couple takes of this, uh, Carson, he, he kills the solo. He's like the perfect voice. I think we were all hoping we, that we he all would get this solo. Get this solo. Yeah. But there's like a little part where he does the little eyebrow squiggle thing. He just randomly did that one take and the director, he's so funny. He like freaked out. He's like, oh my gosh, do that again. And we did a bunch of takes where he was just practicing with just him like wiggling his eyebrows. And so we ended up getting a really good one. Where he but he kept getting tired. It. But his eyebrows were like getting tired. And so he was like, he like couldn't do it after a few times. But, but he has such control. control. It's perfect. He's an artist. <laughs> so you mentioned that like when we had the flashlights beneath your face, usually you just turn the flashlight on beneath when you're telling like a scary story or something, but that doesn't read very well on the camera. No. So you have to hold it a little bit further in front so you can see more of the face in the darkness. But like you said, it was shine. That mean it. That meant the light was going directly into our eyes, which made it 
all was burnt. And watching the video after the fact, I was like, oh, Nathan was doing a lot more than the rest of us because the rest of us were like, I know, had the shadows and Nathan's face and just like, Nathan, his whole face is just blurry. I thought that's what they wanted. I didn't notice until after. I didn't notice that until right now. I mean, really shining it straight into my eyes. So I was actually getting blinded. Brought for the controller. He's like, I can do this. My eyes are like, I'm crying. Props to Nathan, everyone. Everyone, give Nathan a round. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And just like he oh. said, David, let's, yeah. let's hear this. For this part, I don't even know. I, I think the director was just like, Can you do anything cool? I'm like, uh, <laughs> oh, I, can, like I can moonwalk. And he's like, Okay, yeah, do that. And so that's how the moonwalk got him. Moon but he had to moonwalk like a, a long distance, <laughs> yeah. right? Because the camera's like so wide. And so you think, like, Oh, yeah. once I just like, yeah. It was gonna be like. It kind of depends on the angle of the shot because some of them are more close in, and this there's some that are also like farther out. But for the farther out ones, I had to like moonwalk a good I don't know like ten yeah. feet or something, and then I had to run around and get in the next scene that comes next. But yeah. I think it turned out. Yeah. It was also, our director McKay. It's obvious that I don't have very much of a gut. I think he intentionally chose me to be the guy. Because you're the skinniest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. I see so many comments. It was like, what gut is he talking about? <laughs> That's why it's so funny. No gut, moonwalk backwards. Yeah. So good. Said, you said all my hair would disappear. Now look at my hair. I was wondering how they were going to do this scene. I know. Because Zach has not bald. Great hair. Fantastic hair. But somebody just like found a chunk of hair. Yeah. And then, in a makeup, makeup bag or whatever. And they just, it, they said it on his head, it matched the, like, tone of his hair. It's perfectly. Nice, the color perfectly. Like, you couldn't tell. And then he would just, like, pull it out occasionally and we were like, you yeah. think something was wrong with him. Yeah, the makeup person, like, layered it over to go right along with the hair. And so he would just, like, reach up and just sort of pull it oh, out. Clunk. But he would just have to hope that he grabbed it. There was one take where he reached up and grabbed it. It was like, just had nothing. He was like, look at my head. Look at my head. Yeah. Look at my head. Your fate is sealed when you're Also, um, before we, we keep going with this, I love that part where it's like, Prophecies right You hear like all the harmonies. We need to give a props to McKay. McKay Crockett, who arranged oh this whole song. Because so we don't talk about Bruno's already a fantastic song. And I listen to it all the time. But I remember when McKay sent out the arrangement for this. And we, like I heard it for the first time. I was like, it was like so unique. It like matched vocal points like style and stuff like that. Yeah. And just like all the harmonies. Like every reaction I see, every like comment I see is just like mentioning just like those like harmonies are so great. Also, that's not nothing to do with us. Like we'll sing it. But McKay like has it in his head and he'll just put it. Also huge props to the choreographer Jenny. Uh, she did a great job. She choreographed all of our stuff, One Voice Children's Choir stuff, Adasa's stuff, and it looks really cool. I think yeah. we did. Jenny's so. great. We love Jenny. He told me that the life of my dreams would be promised and someday be mine. Uh, I don't know if this is important, but my family and like my sisters and my mom always say that they tear up at this part because my my sisters are like moms and stuff like that, yeah. and so like they think of like their kids and they like always wonder like what does this girl's mom like think when she watches this? Uh, you know, just like she's like a little star, it's just her like moment. You yeah, know what I mean? And I yeah. think that's really cool, and I think she does a fantastic job. She's a great singer. And the best is like we just sit there and we like have to stare we're, at like, each other. Each other off <laughs> and the then we're both like looking at each other like right. seriously, yeah. just like going like this. And it was really hard not to crack up. You can kind of see like right here, we're kind of our laughing. faces are sort of like we want to laugh. Laughing, yeah, because we're, it's it's like a staring contest, <laughs> but you're doing like the weird. And thing. sometimes when we're off the camera, like doing the dance in, we'd be doing the wrong moves. Like we do that Fortnite dance. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Just to like it's I don't know. Embarrassing. Sorry guys. Yeah. Oh sorry. You didn't he would be doing Fortnite dance. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Okay, so 
this is all, I mean, as you can see, it's one shot. We go through the whole thing. So if you haven't already like been able to tell, it was just like a semicircle, the, the, the whole place. It wasn't just like a huge hallway. It's a whole semicircle, really small place. Yeah, there were five sets. Each one was, I don't know, like five feet yeah. to, or probably well, bigger than five yeah. feet, like six feet to ten feet. Right? So everyone had like, there's certain time where it's like, I need to like walk out right here, I'm gonna go dance here, and stuff like that. And so like, so a lot of people are, like off camera just like watching, and then things kind of get to and like start to die a little bit. But I think you're always supposed to be like, doing always in character. Always be in character. It was so scary because you like, if you're like halfway through the song, you're like, you have to count the beats to like know exactly when to come in because, yeah. and you also have to judge like, because the camera wasn't like exactly at you every time, so you have to like coordinate the music and the camera at the same time. It was stressful, but yeah. I think it turned out. It turned out good. <laughs> So when I had to run through the back there, I started out jumping out right in the beginning, and then I ran back, and then I had to run behind the set, and then did a little creepy walk in between those two yeah, things, yeah. and then keep running over to the door. And I could never tell where the camera was, because it would yeah. go slightly different speed every time, so I just yeah. had to guess. What y'all couldn't see was the speed at which I had to book it, <laughs> and just... Okay, you see the colored front, the colored wall, what you don't see is like the supports behind yeah. that they attached. Oh, I yeah, destroyed my pinky toes so many <laughs> oh, times yeah. running back and forth. I would start trying to jump over your, stub your toe. Boom! Stub your toe. Mm. Ouch. That's hilarious. Oh. This is a fun scene though, because you can watch it over and over again and like see different things going on. Yeah. There's just a lot going on. So it's, it's called a magic album. That's what I, I think that's what it's called. Like everybody's part is like over each other. And that's like the family's name in the context. It's like a sort of like. We are the Magic Gods. Yeah. yeah, and so like everybody has their own parts. You can listen to like everyone has a part, but also it's like visually, mm -hmm. you can see it, somebody else do a different thing. You can find mm -hmm. Alice, you can find David, and stuff like that. So it works out really well. Okay, so this part. So we're all in our different colors. I don't know how they assigned our colors. You know, yeah. I think they just saw like what we look best in, like yeah. who whose color matches best. And so we had obviously red, yellow. Alex, you were the only one in green. I was the only one in green, yes. He's the only Bruno. He's the only and one green Bruno. was like the coolest set. So Alex had like the coolest set and blue and purple. Um, and so what they did, and it was sometimes like really hard. They would just like get us one by one. We'd have to be in front of our color and they would just shoot one shot. They'd play the whole song. <laughs> And they just said, just like, just dance. Just dance. And the director said, you want. again, it's like a big studio that we're in filming this. And it felt so weird because he'd be like, quiet yeah. on the set. And then everybody, everybody everyone's yeah, eyes would just go to you. He's looking at you. And he's just like, all right, party, let's go. Keep it up. Keep yeah. it up. And then it's like, sometimes we're dancing and then they're like, more. And yeah. they're like, I was okay. the first one. I was the first one to film this individual section, and I didn't really know what to do. But it, it turned out pretty good. I think all of this turned out fine. It felt so awkward filming. Everyone's it, eyes are just on you, and like the music is like kind of quiet, but yeah, you're just like yeah. trying to like dance to it. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's it looks a lot of fun. Man, I don't really dance, but like, yeah. <laughs> this, dancing. This, was, great. this was, yeah, this was like this the scariest more. thing for me. I like walk in front of the camera. You had the most energy out of all of us. I didn't try to go hard. David went so hard. I looked yeah. at like, I did mine and I felt like, okay, that's fine. And then I like saw David's after and David was like so like in your face about it. And it was like, oh, I wish I like. I feel energy. like all I did though was like, I crossed my arms. You like, crossed your yeah. arms? That's okay. <laughs> I just leave the choir. You leave the choir, yeah. Leave them all the little kids, yeah, you leave them the, the children's choir. <laughs> right. yeah. part with Jaren right there fanning himself is oh, so funny. No, that's the best part. Yeah. Is that... Uh, it's not even matched up to... It's what, not matched up to the song. Yeah. So, like, that part where he's doing that, when he was recording his individual shot, that this isn't the part of the song that he did that, but the director wanted it to be in this part because he thought it was so funny. And just, like, different from the rest of us. He said, so. like, everybody needs to have, like, their part, like, at this part. But Jaren, I don't care what he's singing. <laughs> yeah, just I, we need him to have this part where he's just, like, fanning himself. <laughs> and it works out. <laughs> For this, oh yeah, for this final scene, originally we were gonna have like a whole circle thing where we like walk in one direction. So one voice children's choir would walk around us in one direction, and then we would walk in the center opposite direction. But 
It, I think what happened is it just like the circle got deformed or whatever when we were doing it. Because it couldn't be, a, it couldn't be a perfect circle. No, a lot no. of us like did it like as a perfect circle, but like where the camera is placed. Yeah. A lot, like if we did a perfect circle, we'd either like cover Alex or we'd be yeah. too close to Alex. And you can't look down at your feet. So we had to do egg yeah. shapes. And it's so hard to do an egg shape like, and like not look at what you're doing, but like straight keep up. going in an egg, egg shape. And so yeah. we like filmed it and then we sat down and watched this for the first time. We're like, oh, they cut it out. Yeah. But it though. looks so much better without it. It was yeah, kind of a disaster. So, great job on the editing. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here with us. This was fun to watch this, I think. Love you. As we were doing this, all of us had different stories that we totally forgot about. And it was really fun to like go over this again. So, if you haven't watched it yet, watch the video, drop a like, subscribe. We have lots of good music videos coming up. We wait, don't talk about